Raising a glass to science, Yellow-Eyed Penguin Trust staff and guests are celebrating the employment of a new colleague. They've introduced a science role to the organisation with the aim of investigating problems from a new perspective. This is the first time that the Trust has been in a position to have its own science advisor. And so the Trust is always wanting to have good science to guide its conservation management programme. And um, so this is a very exciting um, day for us with the launch of this position. Trudy Webster will be researching the many different issues surrounding the marine birds. She'll be looking into why the population's at its lowest level in years and will consult with staff from other agencies in the process. There are a whole heap of different issues um, and just trying to work out which, which of those are uh, predominant and what we can do about them. Um, trying to look at the most up-to-date research that's being done at the moment um, and just generally talk to all of the people involved in yellow eyed penguin research. The Otago Regional Council and Otago Museum are funding the role keen to better understand the recent decline in penguin breeding and survival rates. Yellow eyed penguins are endangered, commonly plagued by disease, a lack of food and attacks by predators. Last year, Barracuda injured almost 50 birds and Webster's hoping to get a clearer picture of how they can be better protected. Ideally, we'd like to save the yellow-eyed penguins and, you know, that would be the obvious ultimate goal, um, but doing what we can to manage um, the various populations and um, conserve them as best we can. She's recently finished a PhD in marine science and zoology at the University of Otago. Her fixed term position at the Trust is for one year, but it could be extended. Annabelle Dick, 39, Dunedin News.